Hey guys, this is Mitchell from Gamefront, back again with more of our voice acted playthrough of Gods Will Be Watching. This video covers part one of chapter three, Everdusk. Welcome back, Sergeant Burden. Allow me to say on ECUK's behalf, we're glad you came back in one piece. But it's time to get back to work. Your failure in infiltrating Xenolifer's ranks and sabotaging their goals has changed the rules of the game. This has left us vulnerable. Xenolifer can now potentially commit a biological attack using the Medusa virus at any time. But sir... Don't. Don't even start. Listening to your excuses is what put us in this situation in the first place. We have to be ready to fight any biological threat. That's your main and only objective right now, Sergeant. Is that clear? Yes, sir. On your next mission, you'll have to spend several months on the surface of Sinicus. At the mission briefing, you'll know that Sinicus is the home world of the Medusa virus. You'll be leading an Everdusk science team whilst occupying the planet. Your mission won't be complete until you find a cure for the Medusa virus. Sounds more like a punishment to me. Do you have a problem with your assignment, Corporal Maslow? Two soldiers to look after three scientists and a robot? Please. That's enough, Jack. Sorry, sir. Proceed. I see that you have already met your team. Let me introduce them to you. Sarah Gaynor, specialist in psychiatrics and brain genetics. After all we've heard, it's a pleasure to meet the legend at last, Sergeant. Dr. Paul Sinise, expert in bacteriology, bionics, and the former chief of the counter-viral department of the Constellar Federation. Nice to meet you, gentlemen. Our job at Cinecoast is just as important as fighting terrorists. Don't undermine this mission by taking it as punishment. They won't, Doctor. Donald Gaynor, specialist in robotics and electromechanics. I'll be in charge of the maintenance of our ship and equipment. Also, as I told the commander earlier, I'm bringing with us this experimental robot model I've named Brandon. Experimental? In what way? Well, it's a discarded project of the Constellar Federation. Essentially, Brandon is an empathic droid. He was designed to analyze human emotions and status to try and please its owner and guests. The project was deemed a failure, though, since after a couple years, the empathic module became overwritten with its owner's personality. And the droid suffered a quote-unquote existential crisis with, well, undesired consequences. How useful. This model has been customized by me personally. By formatting its brain once a year, I promise you that Brandon is totally safe. Also, it's not for pleasure. When requested, he'll give us various readings of our performance, moods, and morale throughout a mission It can help us notably improve our productivity quite freaky in my opinion. I'm sad to hear that, but I'll do my best, sir. Come on, Sarge. Don't be mean to him. You may end up liking him. Gentlemen, you'll have time to talk about personal details on the ship to Sinicus. Dismissed. Wait a second. What about the dog? What about the dog? Fucking doctor. It's not wise to have a dog inside the lab. My ass. This damn dog has served the Everdusk better than most of the soldiers on this ship. Knock it off, Jack. Dr. Zanise only wants the best for the mission. He'll end up liking Marvin. Everybody does. Good boy. I thought I missed my arm when that psycho cut it off. 
understand why there are people who sacrifice the land just to get one of these awesome bionics. It's not very popular with the ladies, though. But for a soldier, I couldn't dream of a better implant. You should totally give it a try. No thanks. I like to be popular among girls. You? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I've never even seen you looking at a single one. So, you keep track of who I'm looking at? Oh, fuck off. Can I ask you something, Burden? I'm always afraid of what falls when you ask that. But shoot. Did you really expect to dismantle Xenolifer peacefully? Man, I don't know. Liam's a good guy, though. Maybe I don't agree with his methods, but I respect his cause. In any case, it was worth trying, ECUK orders or not. It would have been a waste of a bullet to shoot such a brave man. I thought we joined ECUK so we wouldn't have to solve all of our problems by killing people. I thought you joined the Everdust because the Constellar Federation put a price on your head. <laughs> oh yeah, and also that. Well, I like Xenolifer too, but ultimately, they're terrorists in the end. In the eyes of the Constellar Federation, yes. For me, the Federation seems a much greater threat than Xenolifer. At least Xenolifer fight for freedom and equality. It's history that will put a label on Leo. For me, he's a hero. You really liked that blonde punk, didn't you? Well, the Fed forced us to kill people. And when I wanted to stop, they hunted me. Liam risked his ass to get us out of that torture facility. That settled whatever reservations I had towards him personally. And then she said, I thought it was a mercurial snake! Man, you are sick. Welcome back, gentlemen. How's the research going, Doc? Excellent! Seller und I detected what causes paralysis within the Medusa virus. It attacks the muscles with the parasitarian live net, but also freezes the user, inducing a chemical coma. It then keeps the vital functions running to create a perfect environment for spores to start growing in the victim's body. Seller und I reduced the number of compounds down to five, so we are pretty close to finding a cure. We'll probably be able to leave Cynicos in a couple of months. A couple of months? Oh, man. Cheer up, Jack. The estimated completion of this project was a year and a half. What? I have to start reading the mission briefings. God, I would have deserted if I knew that. Hello, everybody. Abraham, man, how are you? Or should I call you Sergeant Burden? Liam. <laughs> Don't worry, man. You had a job to do. No hard feelings. I'm glad you made out of the Holistic Empire prison, after all. You and your team will come in handy right now. For Xenolifer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I heard you say that you're researching a cure for the Medusa virus? Cut the crap, Liam! What do you want? How rude, Jack! After all we've been through, I hoped you'd be glad to see me. To answer your question, though, I want you to give us the cure for the Medusa virus, and I want it now. Excuse us, Mr. Liam, but we are far from discovering one at this point. There's still a lot of work to do. Oh, that's too bad, especially since I'm in a little bit of a rush right now. Fine, I'll tell you what. Discover a cure by tomorrow, and you won't die. What? That's impossible! 
Don't underestimate yourself, lady. The threat of death can be a wonderful motivator. What's that they say? Necessity is the mother of invention. No? Shaman can provide that motivation. Shaman? Indeed, C4 has been motivating humanity for centuries. Jack, calm down. Liam, listen to me. You're a reasonable man. I'm sure we can find a peaceful resolution here. Oh, no, 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 no. You won't talk your way out of this, Sergeant. I know you, Burden. You can survive this just like everything else. After all, you're a legend, aren't you? Time to prove it. Liam! Fuck. Fucking Xenolifer. Fuck! Oh my god. We're going to die here, aren't we? This can't be happening. Everybody, calm down. Liam is not an assassin. He wouldn't kill us for mere revenge. Tell me you're not defending that son of a bitch. Don't lose your cool, Jack. If he wanted us dead, we'd be dead. We better start working, fast and smart. Doctor, how much time do we have? Based on our research so far, we'll be dead in about 27.5 hours. That's plenty of time. Brandon, how much debris do we have blocking the exit? 3,712 kilograms exactly, sir. Okay, that's a lot of work, but if we cooperate, we can dig all that shit out in time. You forget the fact that we're all infected. Even if we get out, we'll be dead. Understood. Your mission, then, is to find a cure in less than 48 hours. That's impossible! Well, there are some lines that can be crossed in order to speed up the investigation. Cross them. What do you mean, Doctor? Human experimentation. Are you insane? We're just going to blindly shoot random compounds into ourselves? Well, if we can choose between a certain death or a possible death, I don't know about you, but I'll take my chances. Sounds like a plan. Okay, listen up, everybody. Start digging and follow the doctor's instructions. We have to avoid overworking ourselves. In this situation, being well-rested is just as important as working. I think Sela Undai can produce some synthetic accelerants through the use of the chemical computer. Adrenaline can speed up luck, and sedatives can help you rest better. There are some drawbacks, Doctor. Adrenaline will make you feel pretty tired after a while due to overworking. And sedatives will leave a person knocked out for a good bit of time, but it's a good way to recover faster. Right. In any case, we should mainly work on developing an antidote. What steps should we follow, Doctor? Step 1. Produce an antidote. Step 2. Inject it in someone. Step 3. Pray. Finally, step 4. If the subject endures the shot, analyze their blood and see what went right and what went wrong. Then repeat. I'm a little lost. Don't worry. Focus on leading the team. If you want to know about any aspect of the research, just ask me. Okay. Since time is crucial, we should work in spans of 30 minutes. Use the clock on the right top corner of the computer to begin work sessions. After every 30 minutes of work, we can reassess the situation. Okay, Everdust team, let's- Wait a second. What? The power supply seems to have been damaged. We can't let the battery drop below zero or we're screwed. And how the hell do we avoid that? 
So, I volunteer myself to connect the broken power supply. Donald, is it safe? Well, Brandon is tough as hell. It might actually work. And I can do maintenance on him so he doesn't get toasted. Or you can sacrifice me and leave me as a permanent connection, so power won't be a problem anymore. No way. I need you digging as much as everyone else. Yes, sir. Okay, Everdust team! Oh! <sighs> yes, Doctor? Sorry, just wanted to remind you of what we found in Research Prior. If any of us experience paralysis, we can fight it with a temporary jolt of electricity. That's why the defibrillator unit is here. I can do the preparations. We can have up to three charges and standby for use. And in the meantime, you get to skip digging, don't you? Those are the benefits of having a wider skill set than just shooting things. Hey, that's enough! Okay, everybody knows what they have to do. Everdust team! Burden! What?! Just kidding! Go ahead. I give up. Everybody do your best. Our lives are riding on this. Everdust team! Let's do this! Alright, so, chapter three. Here's what we gotta do. We gotta dig out of the... The uh, the exit over here, so we're gonna have to assign people to, to the dig team And then we also have to create an antidote in order to cure us of the Medusa virus In addition, we also need to get some de uh, Defibrillator charges going so I'm gonna have Donald charge the defib uh, defibrillator right now. That shouldn't be too much of a problem Brandon can dig Zenis or Zenis. Let's see. I'll have you use the computer you're going to be researching an antidote. Now here's uh, the big question. If we go for more dangerous antidotes here, there's a higher chance that the antidote will actually kill the person that we inject. Um, I'm going to go with unstable. 20% chance is not too bad. And for the compounds, so basically there's a specific order that these compounds need to be in in order for the right in, in order for it to be the right antidote. We're gonna go with alpha, beta, delta, just so that's easy to remember. Sarah can help work on that. Alright, Jack, dig. Marvin, dig. Now that we're all ready. We are ready to move on. Any changes? No changes. Let's keep it going. I think once I get two charges in this, I'll be fine. Oh, come on, Jack. Well, fortunately, we have the defibrillator here. We have a charge. So we can defibrillate Jack. And Jack can get back to work. You don't get to take a break because you're paralyzed. Get back to digging. Alright, Donald. Keep charging that defibrillator. We need at least one more charge, I think. Alright, work for 30 minutes. Work for 30 minutes. Battery's gonna be out soon, so we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need Brandon to connect that. All right, so let's take a look at Brandon here. Brandon can tell us the information of all of our all of our uh, crew members here. So let's take a look. Team performance, everyone's pretty good on stamina. Um, I'm gonna inject Jack with this this uh, compound because he is one of the stronger uh, members of the team, and he should even if even if it does turn out to be you know 
part of that 20% work could kill him. He, he has a better chance of surviving it. Alright, so Jack's going to be out of action for a little. In the meantime, let us... Because we're going to want to analyze that uh, his blood once he comes to, I don't want to work on another another antidote just yet, so I'm going to have Zanice and Sarah work on something else. Let's have them produce a sedative. A sedative will help people rest faster. Right. Brandon, I want you to connect the power lines, charge our battery, and we'll have Donald work on one more defibrillator charge. Seems fine so far. Still seems fine. Alright, Donald, you can get back to digging. Brandon, how's, that, how's everyone doing? Okay, Marvin and Burden are the lowest. But I think 70% is still acceptable. Zinni's... Let's work on another... Let's work on adrenaline. Adrenaline will make people work faster. Or work harder, rather. So if we get in a situation where we need to dig really, really quickly, uh, adrenaline will be helpful. Alright. Jack's still fine. Looks like he's going to pull through, I think. One more charge, and I should be able to put Brandon back onto digging. Good, Jack's back. Alright. Analyze his blood. And let's get a pen and paper out so we can write this down. I'm not going to rely on my crappy memory. Okay, so A is in the right spot. B is not in the right spot, but it is one of the ones that we need. Oh, so it's just A, D, B. Eh, easy. I love it when it's easy. Alright, well then we can use the computer. Because we are sure that this is going to be the right one. We can research the antidote. It's going to be a lethal antidote. And it's going to be A... D, B. All right, Jack, get back to digging. You're not. There's no time for rest. You already had a rest. Research complete. All right. So let us give it to. Who should we give it to? I mean, I know it, it, it's right, right? It's gotta be right. I'm gonna give it to Sarah. I hope I didn't fuck it up. You'll be fine, Sarah. Don't worry about it. Alright. Zanis, you can rest. How's everyone doing? Brandon? Why would Brandon have to rest? Okay, so, Burden. Let's, uh, let's give Burden a rest. Who else was it? Let's see. Okay, Marvin. Donald. Brandon. Let's give... Uh, you know what? Let's keep going for now. We'll have Burden rest. Let's keep it going for now. I feel pretty rested. Good. Use computer. I mean, you don't really have to do anything, Zenis. Where if I don't want you to put you on, I guess we could. All right. Use computer. We'll put you on a sedative. 
Burden, you keep resting. Let's get Donald, you can rest. Brandon, you can rest. Donald, repair Brandon. There we go. We need Brandon in tip top shape. What? No! No, Marvin! Marvin's paralyzed! Oh god! Defibrillate him! The poor doggy! Alright, Marvin, you can rest. Burden, get back to digging. Brandon, get back to digging. Let's see how everyone's doing here. Donald is pretty tired. Marvin is pretty tired. They're resting. That's fine. Sarah is pretty well, well rested. Zanice is pretty well rested. I think... I think we're good here. Making good time. Research complete. I feel like I should use a sedative on one of these guys. They're tired. Yeah, you know what? Let's give Donald a sedative. Rest him up. Whoa. That felt nice. Anyone else? Should we give Marvin a... Uh sedative Nah, now nah. Marvin can just rest. I don't need to inject drugs into my dog. Okay, Sarah, you need to wake up already. I know we put a, a lethal <laughs> dose of antidote into you, but it should be fine. There we go. See? Tip top shape. Alright, Donald's well rested so we can get back to digging. We can... Analyze the blood. Success! Now all we need to do is find the compounds for the second structure. The Medusa virus attacks the brain and the muscles. We just found a cure for the physical paralysis, but there's still the mental effect. The virus physiological effects are my spe specialty, that's why I came in the first place. Yeah, great lesson. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Alright, so we're not done yet. But, we are done with Chapter 3, Part 1. So, thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.